We're here having a quick look at this plastic injection moulding machine. It's the EL75 from Romy, so pressing up to 75 tonnes. But what we're going to focus on here is all the sensors actually on the mould tool. So, John, can you tell us what's going on? And I understand it's also very big in the US, is that right? That's right. Um, so what we've got in this tool is quite unusual. We've got um, sensors gathering information from inside the moulding, uh, from the cavity where the plastic's been injected. Um, that gives us data which we can use for traceability, a, his, a history of the parts, and it, we can actually use it to monitor and know when bad stock's been made, bad, bad products been made. What sort of things is it monitoring then? What we're monitoring on this one, we're monitoring plastic pressure, um, temperature of the mould steel, because we're, we're actually using an equipment down here to actually um, pass water around the mould to keep it at a certain temperature. So we need to monitor that. Right, so keeping the actual mould tool itself at key, critical, like the critical temperature. Yes, right. So every plastic's got its own critical temperature right. in which we need to uh, process it. Because yeah. plastic's coming through what, about 230 degrees, yeah, is that right? Right. This, this material's polypropylene and it's, it's generally 230 degrees. The mould tool's 40 or 30. 39.9 at the moment. <laughs> and that's what we're measuring. Actually, yeah. if you look at our system, We've got five degrees above that, so that's why it's important because the actual cooling channels need to be efficient as well. In the tool. And so you've got the temperature, the mould tool, the plastic, anything else you're actually monitoring on there? We're actually monitoring mould deflection, so when that high pressure plastic comes in at uh, 200 bar in this case, we have to stop the mould from opening or else we're going to end up with um, flash, what we call flash, all over the part. So we're measuring actually how far apart the mould is coming when, when we're injecting plastic at high pressure. When you say how far apart it's coming, I mean we're talking microns I'm assuming. We're, we're talking on this, in this case 0 0.01 millimetres. Right? Right. And that's important to us because if we had 0.1 that would be a disaster. And that would cause flash which would ultimately rejected parts. That would be a reject. We can't have excessive flash. Now this is very big in the US and I'm, I'm assuming, well, why is it? I'm, well, I, I'm assuming it's because you can get, you obviously control your, your production, but you can get traceability as well? Yeah, this is one of the big, the big uses for it. We can actually make a template or a, a, a saved version of this process, and we can transfer it to any moulding machine here. So you see all the different types here. We can actually reproduce the, exactly the same process on any machine and make the same part. That's so it. I'm thinking, well, industries, aerospace, medical, yeah, both of them. Uh, medical especially, where we have to have ultra control over everything and also feedback and audit traceability on everything that's made. Yeah. There you go. So that's taking plastic mould, well, injection moulding system into, into the next century, Industry 4.0, and also be reducing wastage as well, which is key. This is key in today's times. So we don't want to be making reject plastic anymore. John, thank you very much. Thank you.